All right. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. Boom Slang here. Welcome to my channel. So um, this is going to be, I know it's live and all that, but it's going to be posted later on YouTube. So it's going to end up being just a video. Um, and this is going to be a response video to um, Collector Holic uh, and his 2000 um, sub giveaway. And so what he wanted to know is um, what else do you collect besides you know, sports cards, baseball cards, whatever. can be anything, obviously, um, you know. So, except like human heads, I don't think you want to show off your collection of human heads or anything like that. That that, that wouldn't be uh, taken too well by the YouTube uh, um, people that run the show, so to speak. Um, and a lot of other people probably wouldn't appreciate it either. Some people might, you know, but anyway, so um, this is it. This is going to be my, my response video. Uh, I've done one other response video similar to this. Uh, like, what do you collect besides cards? And I showed my coins and, and stuff like that. Um, not, not a huge collection of coins either. Just, you know, whatever, you know, tickles my fancy. That's what I did. So let me first move this wire because it's right in my way. There, that's a little bit better. So what I have here is, is um, basically my collection of uh, uh, patches and stuff uh, from what my military time. Um, these were all gained either via trades with other um, aircrew members and other military members. Or uh, there were some that I uh, may have picked up at like a flea market. And I used to go to, when I was uh, stationed out in um, Nellis, in Las Vegas, I would go to the clothing alterations and um, where I had my patches, my, my, my stuff, my stuff would be sewn on. Like here's my, um, some of my old insignias. Um, when I had my stuff sewn on, um, I would ask to go to their bin of old patches that they would throw away. And, um, you know. Just different things. We're going to put this one out first because this is this is number one right here. Number one, the American flag. Good old stars and stripes. We're going to do her first because why not? And we're going to try to leave that on the screen the whole time. So uh, there's no no rhyme or reason as to to what I'm doing here. Um, they're only categorized by kind of like the shapes of the the patch like shapes like these are shield shapes these are you know like circles with either one or two tabs they call these tabs um and these are circular and other oddball kind of shapes um patches so let's go through the oh no sorry oh there old glory let's uh keep you there all right so you can see old glory I want to thank you guys for stopping by uh, on your Sunday um, afternoon, uh, depending on where you're located, I guess, around the, the country, the world, wherever. And we're just going to go through one little stack at a time. And um, and they're also kind of sized pyramid, biggest to smallest. I don't know the history of all of these patches, um, like this, this octopus one. I mean, it looks like like a Walt Disney design to me, actually. Walt Disney used to design um, the some of these patches for some of these um, uh, units during the, like World War II and stuff like that. Um, some of them. So this is this is uh, obviously not subdued, and this is what they would call subdued, where everything is kind of really toned down uh, color-wise and made not to stand out, worn on different uniforms. Um, some of them, you know, it could be worn on flight suits, which, which I just happen to have one of my flight suits here. So I can even give a demonstration. How's that? I have a flight suit here. Um, yes, I'm recording. Um, 
Okay. I didn't get any notices, but I'll check it. Yep. Okay. So anyway, let's get back to this and the interruption from my wife about the solar. Um, no, I'll check it later. Thank you. I can check it from here. Um, so again, so it'll tell you a little information. This is from the 613th Tactical Fighter Squadron. That tells me it's Air Force. Um, this is from the 313th um, Mass. Um, I don't remember. Yep, that's the Secretary. They went in. Um, this is um, from the 966th AMU. So just like in the Army, if you know anything about the military, your units start real small from like the individual soldier to, you know, platoon squads. Um, um Brigades, battalions, and, and they all have different names depending on the size of the personnel assigned. So this is an aircraft maintenance unit. An aircraft maintenance unit could be, you know, a couple hundred people, right? I, I was in members of many of uh, aircraft maintenance units because uh, I was in the aircraft maintenance field. So let's just continue on. Let's see. Real, and I'll try to go through these real quick. That's pretty nice. It's got a scorpion and a nuclear explosion going off behind him. Detachment 1, the 57th Fighter Weapons Wing. So, I mean, their particular mission may have been, you know, some kind of deterrence. Um, OMS, I forget what that, organization, Organizational Maintenance Squadron, or something like that. Operational Maintenance Squadron, I forget. All right, so we got in some with some Velcro on now, um, which this is probably a, this is what, the 96th Tactical Fighter Training Squadron. So these were um, pilots air crew members that flew uh, aircraft around and they got their Velcro on the back that attaches it to their to their uniforms and it won't just fall off. Uh, here's a nice one here, 325th, a bomb squadron. And again, this could be one that was designed by Walt Disney Company. Again, back during World War II, it's got a tiger with a caveman and a club ready to go uh, give someone a beat down maybe. So that's those. And the reason I stick Velcro to Velcro so it doesn't stick to these and pull the threads out of the uh, the patches. Uh, this is the Big D, the A7, the 4450th Maintenance Squadron. I don't think they're around. I mean, they may be around anymore. A lot of these probably aren't around anymore. But uh, these guys were the uh, cover the cover story for the uh, stealth program, the F-117 program. Um, they flew around a bunch of these A7s <clears throat> as their cover. While they went to work and they actually flew the stealth uh, 117 fighters. Um, these are a test and evaluation squadron. That's a wombat. He's got a dagger and a gun and got his goggles on. Fangs are bleeding. He's got blood on his fangs. And um, this one was, uh, these guys are at Nellis Air Force Base while I was there. These guys were kind of out of Nellis, but they're actually out of uprange. What are they called? Tonopah uprange. Um, don't know where these guys are from, but it's like a panther with a lightning bolt and all that good stuff. Tactical Fighter Squadron. Uh, there's a horse with a star, and I can't see what that is under there. Civil Engineering Squadron. Those guys go out and they build stuff, runways. They build um, housing facilities, whatever. Those are civil engineers. Um, supply Squadron. You know, everyone, an army travels on its stomach, and these guys are like the supply supply guys this is just one of all you know many many supply squadrons this is the seventh supply squadron um so they've been around a long time the squadron if they're like number seven uh the 405th aircraft generation squadron so you have amus or ags's they're the same just different times of um of uh you know different Decades, maybe. Some, at one point, someone would say, well, we're not going to be called aircraft generation squadrons. We're going to be called aircraft maintenance units, you know. And that's that's our new designation, you know, from the DOD or, or Pentagon or whoever says that's what we're changing to. This is equipment maintenance squadron. These guys here were at Nellis Air Force Base. While I was there. That's kind of the Nellis symbol, the bullseye. It's a large training base out in uh, Nevada, and, um, yeah, 57th Equipment Maintenance Squadron. And they will repair all your 
aircraft, um, aerospace ground equipment, stuff you need to uh, like powerize the stuff, uh, gas operated stuff that you need to work on your aircraft and, and stuff like that. Uh, let's say 49th CRS component repair squadron. That's what that stands for. And if you have broken parts from an aircraft or whatever, you pull that part and you'll send it back into the shop. And if they can't fix it, then they send it back to the uh, manufacturer component repair squadrons. Uh, the first tactical fighter uh, training squadron. I couldn't tell you where they're based out of, um, but they've got this Eagle that's half snake Eagle lion. Um, thingy you know going on here here's um tactical fighter training squadron again these are training these are squadrons that would train pilots train air crews and they've just got this wolf with a the lightning bolt going through it and this one is the 562nd tactile fighter training squadron another training squadron uh, Red Eagles, that's a, a um, test and evaluation squadron. So that's another, when you see 4477th or whatever, that those are guys uprange um, working on secret programs as far as I am concerned. That's what they do. Component repair squadron again. F-16 Falcon AMU. These are patches for individual um, aircraft maintenance units. They could make up their own patches, and this was the F-16 guys out of Nellis had their F-16 AMU patches. Uh, this is a bomber squadron, and it's a real simple paper kite, you know, but simple little design, but with the globe saying that they have, you know, world uh, coverage. Hey, Clump Cards, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, good morning. I'm just going over. This is a response video for... Um, for Collectaholic, who is um, having a giveaway for his 2,000th subscriber giveaway. And uh, he wanted to know, make a video. The two ways to enter enter would be a comment on one of his videos that he has a link to the video he posted today. You go to that video he links, comment on that video, and then comment on today's video that he posted. If you wanted to put a second entry in, which would be a response video, so I'm making the response video. I've already commented on the other one and followed the directions for entry there. And this is just my response video. He wants to know what you collect besides cards. You know, do you collect anything other than cards? And if so, what? Share it with us. So this is just like that um, Falcon AMU. Okay, this is an Eagle AMU. Same, same principle, same idea. These guys are like, no, we have our own patch and this is what it is. Boom. And there you go. This is the 62nd Tactical Fighter Training Squadron. Again, another training squadron. This was never sewn on a uniform, um, so or to have Velcro on it. A lot of these were, most of these were never used before. Um, Tactical Fighter Training Squadron, a little hard to see, but you got bombs. You got this bird wings, you know, dropping, delivering uh, weapons. This is like the chinziest patch um, in the collection and this I got from something I bought for my kids and it came with this uh, F-14 uh, Jolly Rogers Navy Navy guys obviously the uh, the only ones that flew the F-14 were uh, the Navy and they're Tomcats F-14 Tomcats but this was it's not like a real official patch it came off of something I bought for my kids I'm like you know what there you go I'll, I'll take that and hang on to that um, again, these are the Wombats, the Test and Evaluation Squadron, just the subdued version. Here's a lesser subdued version of the same patch. Um, these guys are the Night Stalkers. Night Stalkers is a kind of a trigger word for um, special operations, special whatever. The Night Stalkers um, basically, you know, um, do covert type things. And so you need to know about Night Stalkers. If you hear Night Stalkers, something's going down. Uh, 92nd OMS. Uh, this is a 48th Fighter Intercept Squadron, I think. Or it, should be, it could be FTS, but it looks like an FIS. Um, but it could be Intercept Squadron because this cat's chasing another plane, which means these guys maybe pulled alert duty at one time during their... Uh, the history of their squadron 
again, may not even be around. Here's an AMU patch. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Tactical Fighter Squadron. And F-16 uh, Fighter Weapons School. So this is from Nellis. They have schools there where they train. It's like the Air Force version of the Top Gun. Um, the Navy has a Top Gun. The Air Force has the fighter weapons schools where they teach pilots how to fly um, their aircraft against dissimilar aircraft. They always have aggressor squadrons there, and they train in dissimilar air combat tactics. How's that? That sounded pretty pretty official, but that's exactly the terminology. Um, EMS squadron. And AMS. I'm not sure what the ammunition, I guess. Because it's a bomb, a couple bombs on there, and an artillery piece or something. Um, here's wings again. So Air Force, you know, is obviously going to have a lot of wings. Ready, willing, and able. Um, FMS. I forget what FMS stands for. How about this one here? Again, this is from the uh, Fighter Weapons School. Bullseyes kind of help to signify them as well um, for pilots. And this is the F-111 Division of the U.S. Air Force Fighter Weapons School. Obviously, the Air Force doesn't fly F-111s anymore, so, um, you know, uh, Australia might still fly them, maybe. Um, mobile Aerial Port Squadron, so these are, are um, refuelers, they tankers, they fly around and refuel aircraft in the air. Tactical Recon Squadron. I'm not sure what tactical recon squadrons do. Uh, could be SR-71s. Um, I'm not sure. When you talk about recon in the Air Force, you're kind of limited to like doing the spy missions with the U-2s and the SR-71s maybe. Not sure what the history is on that one there. Here's a 435th Tactical Fighter Training Squadron. And I'm not going to keep elaborating on all these i'll just show show the pictures you guys can see how cool some of the um the artwork that goes into these this could be a disney one too that's typical disney character with this cat carrying away it's a uh, youngster you know airlift squadron we're in exactly what airlift would do would they would carry personnel um during relief efforts they will transport people out of hurricane areas or you know flood danger areas or whatever that's what airlift does they get people supplies to where they need to be and they can also act as an evacuation point in cases of an emergency that's what they do here's a cool one again this has to do with 37th ags which the guys that flew the sr uh the guys that flew the um f-111s when they were still a secret program once they became unsecretive so to speak or less secretive um, they became, they transitioned to what they were known as the 37th, uh, well, AGS is the Aircraft Generation Squadron, but, you know, they were the 37th Tactical Fighter Wings and stuff like that. Here's an eagle with the lightning bolt in his mouth, Aircraft Generation Squadron. Aircraft Generation Squadrons are maintenance personnel like myself. I was in an Aircraft Generation Squadron, Aircraft Maintenance Unit, um, you name it, um, these are guys that went out and worked on mechanics that worked on the aircraft day in and day out. All kinds of weather, all kinds of conditions, you name it. And they did it and helped keep the airplanes ready to fly at a moment's notice. All right. And here's a nice big one. This is a Silver Eagles. However, it's not silver. It's subdued version. I'm sure the unsubdued would probably have a giant Silver Eagle on there. Here's a huge T-46 uh, operational test. So apparently they do some kind of testing there at that in that uh, squadron. The 42nd AMU. Again, those are just maintenance personnel. Here's one that's got a little mask on it. Pretty cool. And it's a fighter squadron patch. Here's one of our uh, sister squadrons at Nellis. This was the 430th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Um... Pretty cool. It's just a tiger on a beach ball. I was not a member of that squadron, though. 
most of these I wasn't a member of. Here's the um, the unsubdued version of that one there. Quite a contrast in uh, visual effects when you got nice vibrant colors and the subdued. Again, the subdued is worn on your BDUs, your ABUs. What I don't wear my ABUs anymore, but on on your uniform that would keep you low profile and not stand you out in any way. Um, skull, upside down spade, thunder, lightning, volcanoes, who knows? Everything's in that one there, right? A pretty scary one. Uh, eagle. That's a pretty recurring theme here. Falcons and eagles. Here's a falcon, F-16. It's fighter from the fighter weapons school again at Nellis. Grim Reapers are, uh, again, like Night Stalkers, um, SR, um, F-111 type, uh, F-117 type guys, stealth guys, Grim Reapers, they call themselves too, I believe. Here's a larger version of the Wombats. Um, training Squadron, training pilots here on the 86th. Um, Thunderbirds, I got this patch from one of my friends who was a member of the Thunderbirds many, 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 many moons ago. Um, feel honored to have that one there in my collection because they don't get to uh, just give them out and hand them hand them around. So I'm pretty honored to have one of those. Um, again, some of them are really hard maybe to understand. That's Obviously, that's got to be some kind of bird, tactical fighter squadron. So the bird is to symbolize an airplane many times. Uh, 57th AGS. That was at Nellis as well. Um, I was a member of the 57th AGS at one point, and that was uh, one of the patches. There's a training squadron. It's in a, out in the desert, obviously, like in Arizona. Um, some of them were in Columbus, Mississippi. Um, so I guess their thing was rattlesnakes. Watch out for the, the flying rattlesnakes. I don't know. And that is a Thunderbird one, not an official one. It's like that Tomcat one. Um, I bought it at a flea market or something like that for my kids to stick on one of their jackets when they were little. And it still has the Velcro on there. I put the Velcro on myself. And they used to wear it when they were little on their jackets. My kids love the Thunderbirds and the other one like the Blue Angels. Um, this was from a desert deployment. <clears throat> Obviously, that's why it's all brown, um, and that's the same. These these went together on my flight suit at the time, my uniform at the time when I was deployed to the desert. And I don't want to bore you guys. Let's just let's just skip to the colorful ones, right? Let's skip to the colorful ones because I got so many here. I don't want to bore you with them all. You know. Test and Evaluation Squadron or Test Training Squadron, Air Warrior. Here's a Cardinal wanting to fight you. An Eagle. The Black Sheep. Um, just like the, uh, if you're older guys, you know about the, uh, the Black Sheep Squadron. Uh, was a famous Marine Corps fighter squadron. Well, the Air Force apparently had their same version of the Black Sheep. Satan's Angels. Pretty neat looking. Uh, oh, sorry, off the screen. Pretty neat looking. Let's check the chat. I got my back turned to the chat. Remember the great sports? What's up, Boom Swing? Hey, guys. Uh, it was hard to tell from the thumbnail, but I thought you were showing off pogs. <laughs> a second ago, so. um, These patches, this is a response video for um, Collectaholic, who is having a giveaway. He's got uh, 2,100 subscribers, so he's celebrating the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. In which he wanted to see what you collected other than like sports cards, baseball cards, whatever. It could be anything. So um, I decided, you know what? I got these patches. I did a response video before on my, my coins and stuff that I had. So I just wanted to do a response video. This is for the second entry into his giveaway. Um, and the first entry you get, if you wanted, uh, first entry, you just commented on his video uh, that he linked in his video today telling you to do whatever you got to do and uh you'd have to follow the directions in that and then for a second chance um this one's upside down for a second chance 
you could make a response video and then you'd have two entries. So I figured why not? His giveaway is a pretty cool giveaway. Give away a box of uh, uh, coins that are baseball player coins, state coins, and baseball players on. So best in the West and Stanley Val team, the 12th Air Force F-16s. Those guys would go around, I guess, evaluate pilots, procedures, practices. These are aggressor squadron out of Nellis. I believe they still fly aggressors out of there because that is the uh, fighter weapons school for the Air Force. Another one, they had two different aggressor squadrons there. They had more wild weasels. So wild weasels are radar jammers. They could have been F-4s, uh, F-111s, F-18s are wild weasels nowadays. Um, you know, their different aircraft were modified to do radar jamming missions in flight so that the rest of the um, air package can get through and get to their targets without being detected. Goose Bay, Canada. Uh, we actually have a, had a base up there. I have a base up there. Here's a warthog with some lightning bolts around him. Again, this is um, a jammer squadron. 57th AGS. Versatility. Um, this has to do with the um, F-117 guys again, the Ghost Riders. Matt Katz, not sure. Uh, this could be a Disney one, you know. It's got a, one of those crows on it. Disney used to, like I said, Disney used to um, design a lot of these for the guys, um, for the squadrons and stuff. 428th Tactical Fighter Squadron. This is another one of the sister squadrons. I was in the 429th. I showed the 430th prior. This is the 428th. Triple Nickel, guys. It even says Triple Nickel, 555th. Uh, bandits again. This is uh, has to do with the stealth. It even has an F-117 right here. Guys throwing bombs. Blue streaks. Tactical fighter squadron. Uh, I might get in trouble for that one there because it kind of has a rebel flag on it. But these guys are from out of Montgomery. I'm not sure how that's gonna fly over there, YouTube. Um. Golden Pride, nice yellow, golden yellow patch. Ah, this is this is this is my patch. This is um, so I didn't design this patch. Um, someone else designed this patch. I just came up with the name up here on the upper tab. So I was in the 417th Tactical Maintenance Squadron, and they had a contest. They said, hey, guys, you want to come up with a new patch for the squadron? And that's how things change from, like, old Disney designs to newer stuff. Um, <clears throat> and they said, let's, let's, um, let's do something. Uh, so in, your, in our squadron, we had two flights. We had uh, A flight and B flight. And who wants to be A and who wants to be B? You know, we want to be... Uh, something besides, oh, yeah, but well, we're A and we're B. Man, it's kind of dull and silly. So I'm like, came up, I submitted two, one for each flight, even though I was only in A flight. I said, um, I'm going to submit one for each, and hopefully one of mine will be selected. And it was Viper Flight, and uh, someone else designed this, this patch. So this is a KC-10. It's an air refueler. It's hard to see, but the boom is down there, and we refuel the aircraft in flight. KC-10 is the MD-10, a DC-10, whatever you want to call it, the three-engine deal. Um, does air flight refueling, carrying passengers and cargo. can do all three at one. It can do one, whatever. Global reach. Um, I've flown 14-hour missions, no problem. And we were, the new thing was a Viper, and someone puts a very beautiful Viper coming up out of the, out of the tail of the plane. I'm not sure where he's coming from. Maybe he's coming out of the boom. Who knows? Who knows where it's supposedly coming from? You might have wanted to have it just come out of the engine or something. But I wasn't involved in the designing. I was just involved in the naming. And so, yeah. And this is a huge patch. Um, and I just happen to have my last two left of those. This is a training um, flight patch. Um, they trained uh, U.S. and foreign pilots, as you can see. And they were Willie. It's, this is from class. The year was 91, class 13. So each class would do up their own um, flags. 
or their own patches. And in this case, they incorporated their flag. That might be some uh, pilots from Mexico. I'm not sure um, what that flag is, but that's it. That's where they are. Um, it says cross country to Baghdad. Maybe it's maybe it is a Baghdad flag, but I thought they had something in the center there. But anyway, uh, and their motto was just do it. Ninety one. And I'm trying to quick go through this, look over my shoulder, see what's going on. Remember the great board, send me an email at Remember the great board, boom, I got to run a bunch, bunch, but I have about 140 or so, 93 tops gold with your name on it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot you an email. Let me write that down real quick. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Let me write that down because I have no one's email. I I literally deleted all my emails. I know it sounds like a conspiracy um, of the highest level, but it actually happened. I didn't wipe my entire phone. I just deleted the emails. I'll, uh, you know who? Where's my pen? I didn't delete my pen. I just deleted my memory. All right, write this down real quick. Thank you, by the way. Remember, Remember the great sports at gmail.com. Remember the great sports. All right, got it. Thank you. All right, I'll shoot you an email. Thank you. All right, we got to expedite this video. I don't want it to be super duper long. I appreciate all you guys for stopping by though, and checking it out. I know it's not baseball cards. I got to do a baseball card one later. I have a box already set out and ready to go right there. But I wanted to get this one done before I do anything else. So real quick, we're just going to thumb through these. I mean, some of them are very small to the very large. All right. Some of these went on your shoulders. Some of these went on your pockets. So there's a small one. Grim uh, Raven Keepers, they call themselves. Very small ones. Whoops. And propellers, whatever they did. Bold. And we're just going to flip through them real quick. Here's weasels. Okay, these are guys with uh, wild weasels. They're jammers. They're F4s and they're F111s, whatever. This was um, our, um, what you call it? wing patch. 714th aircraft, gen well, it says generation squadron, soaring above the rest. That kind of went bye-bye a little bit. I think they have a new one now. Dragons and F-16s and lightning and flames and um, some writing I can't even read. This is so dark you can't even read what it says in there without putting your nose right up against it. But it's a castle, then iron fist, lightning bolts, scary stuff. 429th. So that was the squadron I was a member of right there. This one I wore on my uniform. And uh, just the Falcon because we were F-16 Falcons dropping a bomb. And we are the Black Falcons, because that's what they chose to be called, I guess. Don't know why. That guy's got nice taggers and stuff. There's a larger, bold um, 391st Tactical Fighter Squadron. Here's one that's got some um, war fitter of the pack, whatever that means. I think they may have spelled it wrong. Maybe it's war fighters. I don't know, but they spelled it wrong if they did. Uh, subdued Aggressor Squadron Patch, Subdued 428th Buccaneers Patch. I showed the regular one, the non-subdued version. Another Aggressor sub Squadron Subdued. Seen that one before. Night Stalkers Non-Subdued. This is a pretty cool one. This came from, I'm um, thinking, this come from, I traded a guy for these rhinos. I mean, that's cool. Never seen a rhino on a patch. Holy dang, all these birds, dragons and stuff. There's a rhino. 
429th again. They just changed the Falcon to make it look uh, less like a parakeet because the other one looked like a parakeet. Eagle AMU, that was from um, the Fighter Weapons School also out at Nellis. AWACS, uh, again, the Fighter Weapons School at Nellis. And this was Air Warrior. We saw the subdued version of the Air Warrior. Now that's the non-subdued. Let's get into some more of these other ones because I have like class patches in here that are pretty cool. Uh, I, hopefully I can find the one that you guys are probably going to like the best. All right, so these are old stripes you wore in your uniforms. My old stripes. You don't need to see them. Eagle Keeper. That was an Eagle Keeper when I was stationed at Nell, uh, Nell, not at Nellis, at Bitburg on F 15s. F 15 was an Eagle. I traded a guy uh, during one of the red flags from the uh, French Air Force. Got that from him, and I got another one from him. Pacific Tanker Task Force is when I deployed to Guam in 2014. Yes. Lindbergh's own. Uh, Bitburg, Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, new safety patch, United States Air Forces in Europe. Wore that one. Got this from a pilot, A-10 pilot, hence the Warthog. Maryland Air National Guard. The aircraft was built around, first they Designed the gun, and then they built the airplane around the gun. They designed the airplane around the gun. A-10 Warthogs. Pretty cool-looking patch. And then I got this one on the back. We've seen the subdued version of this earlier. All right, so here's a, a school patch, a class patch. Willie is in Williams, Arizona. It's from class of 92, and that was the sixth class of 1992 to come through. And it says, Yanking While Banking. So, you know, he's sitting at his desk, maybe he's a banker, and he's doing his calculations on his, you know, money or whatever while uh, dreaming about flying. I don't know. I got this from my current employer, um, the Boeing Company, Chinook CH-47s. Pretty cool. Could be a Disney design again. It's got the little guy holding the big ass gun with a cane. You know, hence maybe speak softly, carry a big stick kind of thing. Um, this is part of the 117 program. Uh, this is a pilot's patch, A7s, and aircrew, SAC, warrior. Must have been some kind of deployment somewhere, not me. Got it from someone else. All right, here's a Navy patch. Um, and that's an A6 intruder, radar jammer, or maybe EA6. It's only got like two-seater, not a four-seater, but it shows like it's a jammer because it's got radar, lightning bolts. So I'm thinking they're jammer guys. Here's more jammers. Um, Navy patch. I'm not sure what all the VS, VA, what all that stands for. Obviously, Navy guys would know, but obviously they're sub killers. They're they're probably dropping buoys and and depth charges, trying to uh, force a sub to the surface. Maybe sonar buoys to track subs. Again, this looks like a Disney one with the rooster and but he's holding a gun instead and looking pretty uh, gnarly. Attack squadron. This is a Navy one. Um, I'm not sure if this is Navy or what. Yeah, it's Navy because it's got a carrier out here. It's got a bat. Nighttime, I'm thinking it's a jammer squadron. VF-213, again, Navy. VA-22, it's pretty cool. Um, Cardinal Podge. I'm assuming it's a Cardinal unless it's a Chicken Hawk or something. I don't know. Obviously, it's just a Red Hawk or something. Could be a rooster. I mean, it's got a tail. It's flashing his talons, maybe. Yeah, it's a rooster. Here's um, whatever this is. Sub torpedo bomber squadron. So these guys are old school torpedo bombing, like uh, during World War II. Pretty cool though. Gun bearers. Hel helicopter squadron, maybe. 
Helicopter support squadron, I'm not sure. This is um, an aggressor squadron for the Navy. Pacific Fleet Adversary Squadron. Starfighters at F-14 um, fighting 33rd. F-14 is one of the baddest airplanes we probably ever had in our arsenal. Um, I'm thinking just jammers, you know, tram, techs, maybe the maintenance guys that work on the aircraft. Uh, let's see. More patches on my uniforms. Um, this is uh, a little worn and stuff, but this is from the town of Bitburg. This is their kind of like over there. Towns have their little emblems and stuff like that, and this is theirs. And funny thing is, my son I got a tattoo. He was born there, and he got a tattoo of this patch on him, made for him on him. Um, ATC, so this is a master instructor for instructor for going to basic training. Again, master instructor, Bulldogs, that's from the uh, 22nd um, TFS, Tactical Fighter Squadron, or, or AMU. I forget, I think we were AMUs then. Uh, I was not a member of this squadron. This is our sister squadron, but it's a Bulldog um, with a patch over his head or something. Um, and they actually had a bulldog for a mascot. I met that dog. His name was Chompers. At least when I was there. There's a Wild Weasel Squadron, F4Gs. Wild Weasel, so that guy's a crew chief on F4Gs. Uh, Prime Ribs, I think that's um, um, CRS. Not CRS. Um, guys who do repairs on the bases and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. 21st TAS, not sure. Civil engineering, that's what those guys are. And here's more civil civil engineering for the Air Force as Prime Beef. Eighth Air Force, there are all there are kind of different numbered Air Forces, the eighth, the twelfth, so on. Uh, testing evaluation squadron, it's got a devil on there. But they came off of someone's uniform. It has got Velcro on the back. Shotzi, that's uh, training squadron, aircraft pilot training. Crew chief, military airlift command, MAC. Uh, now there's no MAC. Uh, again, instructor patch for basic training. Viper squadron, that's out of Nellis again. Um, one of the other F-16 squadrons there. Here's a um, William Tell, I believe. Gunsmoke, Gunsmoke. Intel Worldwide Fighter Gunnery Meet Gunsmoke 89 Beach Aerospace. That's just a civilian aircraft company that would be flying people, important people, maybe up range to the um, um, F 117 guys. Okay. Fighter Weapon School F 16s. Pretty nice patch. A 7s. Again, we saw that one before. Here's a NATO one, maybe. Um, Eagle Keeper. That's a different version of the Eagle Keeper. They had different colors. And that was an Eagle Keeper, like I said. Um, I want to say, because it's a spy versus spy, these are spy guys, um, jammers or U2s. Not sure. White Knights. Tactical Fire Squadron. I-Flight. That's a training squadron, again. Goat Suckers, A7 guys. That's just a patch I think someone made up for the guys up range. It's on the 117s. Uh, 23rd, could be a Disney patch again. It's got Disney-esque uh, characters on it. And a Disney patch here with a cat riding a, a missile or a plane. This is the second patch that I got with that blue one off of that uh, French pilot. Uh, Spa 77, I guess that was his squadron number. M Flight, Mother's Finest, again, a training a training squadron. Um, Rapid Deployment Forces, that's just a patch. I don't know where I picked that up. Eagle Driver, so that's an F 15 Eagle Pilot patch. Maintenance guys were Eagle Keepers, pilots were Eagle uh, Drivers. This is an Army patch from a Scout Squadron. And that's a pretty cool um, tiger patch. 
and not sure what the writing means on it, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. Here's one that I actually wore on my uniform. Um, the same patch that we showed earlier that I helped name. And it's pretty school skull and wings with some kind of demonic goat over it. And I'm not sure what that um, says there. Just scary. Um, I think this is a helicopter squadron. I'm not sure. Um, flying nightmares and uh, Navy or Marine Corps. Attack squadron 95. Again, that could be Navy or Marine Corps. Not sure. A6 intruders. Again, could be uh, Navy or Marine Corps. Probably Navy. I don't know if the Marines got into any jamming um, in their A6s back in the day. 98th Tactical Fighter, that's just a training squadron out of Williams, Arizona. F-18, Jersey Devils. So these are the um, guys out of Jersey. Jersey Devils, I guess. Well, I don't know why they would name themselves the Jersey Devils, but... No, that's F-16. Sorry, that's F-16. Let me look at it. Yeah, single tail, F-16, single engine. F-16s, that's the... Um, Guard unit out of New Jersey. There's Williams Air Force with all the the four squadrons there and their patch for the wing. Here's from uh, Gunsmoke 85. Eagle Keeper, another version of it. It's got more black in it than, you know, gold, yellows. Uh, Pacific Tanker Task Force. That's what I was doing that in Guam. F-16 Fighting Falcon. This is actually from the like uh, General Dynamics. This is like a pre-production patch when they first uh, were designing the F-16. Um, pretty cool. Here's a really fancy F-15 Strike Eagle. Hard to see, but it says F-15E on it. Pretty cool. With all the shiny... Talk about all the cards, all the cards now that are all shiny, so shiny. Well, that's a shiny patch. Instructor pilot out of Shotzi. Um, we'll go to that one last. Red dog. Here's a really cool bulldog. Um, I think this is a helicopter squadron, heavy military lift, whatever. Um, I think it's helicopter. I could be wrong. And there's the other patch. That's why these are together. I think they came off the same. The same pilot, the same air crew. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, I can't show those. I can. I'll show them later. Um, Attack Squadron 304. Um, Navy. Skull, wings, some EA-6s. And the Intruder. The Flight of the Intruder. You guys may have seen that movie. You may not have. Pretty cool movie. Uh, again, professionals, uh, Navy Squadron or Marine Corps, VF-124, gunfighters, Saber Hawks, must be sub killers, right? You got a s freaking sword right through the submarine. St. Adversary, so this is a dissimilar air um, combat tactic squadron. What? How many hamburgers? Uh, two. This is definitely a Disney patch. When I got this from the pilot. Uh, he says it's like the only one left in the Air Force that still has the Disney, has a Disney designed patch. And this is it. And I believe this guy's name is Wampum, Chief Wampum or something like that. <clears throat> and there's a Blue Angel patch. I like Chief Wampum. Ah. <sighs> We can talk some history of some name tapes. You wore these on your uniform. These are my name tapes off of old uniforms. Some never used. These are called tabs. They would go above. This happens to be an airborne ranger tab or airborne tab, I should say. And there's a subdued tab. Um, I picked them up at like the BX or something like that, just to add them to. I was never in the Airborne or anything like that. I just picked them up to have them in my collection. Here's another patch, United States flag. Here's um, one of my um, 
name tapes I had made up. I'll show you on my flight suit and a flag I had made up. These were hand sewn on a deployment. So, well, you know, with a machine, but here's an army one, Screaming Eagles, airborne guys, right? Here's from uh, Nevada, State um, National Guard type, Army National Guard. This is a maintenance uh, patch, subdued, but it's an eagle inside a wreath. And the star and a wreath would designate your skill level, right? So without the star, you were next level down, you know, with the star. And then you have the star with the wreath around the star, I believe. That's just a unit patch and from the Army. I believe this to be Army as well, unit patch. I think these go together on the same uniform. I'm not sure. All three of them might be together. I don't know. Here's a numbered Air Force, 12th Air Force. The All-Americans, uh, Airborne Unit, um, FAA, uh, FA-18 Hornet Squadron, Navy, Strike Fighter, FA-18 Hornet. <clears throat> These guys are obviously out of California. They've got their thing down near probably San Diego somewhere. Um, and these patches came off the same air crew. Um, he was nice enough to give them to me right off his uniform. All right, these again are like pre production type patches or advertisement patches. F 15 Eagle, built by McDonnell Douglas. FAA Hornet, built by McDonnell Douglas, which is now uh, went to become uh, first it was Douglas and McDonnell. They combined to make McDonnell Douglas and then became McDonnell, and then um, Boeing bought out. McDonald and became Boeing. And this is for the advanced tactical fighter, the ATF-23, Northrop, uh, Northrop Grumman, McDonnell Douglas team, um, U.S. Air Force. So that is the, the YF-23 um, that was not bought by the um, Pentagon, Department of Defense, whatever. They bought the F-22 Raptor instead. But if you see the F-23, it's pretty... Amazing aircraft. Probably one of the most amazing aircrafts I ever built that was never bought. Okay, now for some, some fun stuff. I may have let this slip a little bit. But this says, Bo Don't Know Jets. And it's Bo Jackson hanging on for dear life underneath the T-38. And this was designed by someone in the class of 91, class 07. Bo don't know jets, but 9107 knows jets. So that's a T-37, T-38, yep. T stands for trainers. Um, but cool, that's a Bo Jackson. I should put that in my card collection, right? It's Bo Jackson. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to put my thumb here, kind of hide this because it's not, might not be appropriate. Um. Uh, Someone designed this while we were deployed in uh, 2014, my last deployment um, before retiring. And um, we were in the desert and flying the um, KC-10s. And there, there are AWACS guys there, too. And there were some KC-135 guys there, other tanker guys. But we were handling the bulk of the, the workload. Um, refueling aircraft in flight and um, uh, let's see covering this up our goal is <laughs> all right, our goal is your hull all right and basically what that means is you know when you do any reflight refueling you can go to some of my videos I have posted from under my um, uh, military um, uh, videos uh, it shows in-flight refueling and stuff that we did and um, basically you know we got a the receiver aircraft has to have a place to put your, your probe. And um, so, yeah, you know, it's not for kids anyway. So our goal is your hole. And we're just going to leave it at that. It's trying to refuel that AWACS. All right, now I can't help the AWACS got a blonde wig. And the KC-10 looks like some 
mean, I don't know, mean guy. I designed the patch. I just bought it and wore it until we were forced to take it off because the AWACS guys were getting offended by it. It's funny as hell. And then this is one that I talked to one of my friends about designing me a patch. Some guy who knew how to draw designed me a patch. I think it was actually Kevin Jenkins, a uh, co-worker of mine that was also in my unit. And I asked him to draw me up a scary looking thing. I wanted to have a boonie hat. I wanted to have skull and fangs instead of like just wrenches for a mechanic. I said, turn them into bones, you know, so they're wrench here, but they're, they're just femur bones or, you know, whatever tibia bones, whatever they are. And I, once I got this thing here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to design. I wrote, I drew in the two um, airplanes over here, you know, one's an F-15 and that's actually supposed to be an F-15 too, because I really love the F-15s and KC-10 down here. And then I took it to the guy at the clothing sales um, and had him sew it up for me. And it was from my time um, and I was 2012, not 2014. 2014 was Guam, I guess. 2012, uh, where we went to Thumrate in Oman. And we were flying sorties against Somali pirates. Um, not, well, Somali pirates and warlords, basically. Though. We were looking for warlords inland. And our job was to refuel all the F-15s and whatever wanted gas. We gassed them. And it, just fueling the hunters. Because that's what they were doing. They were hunting. We actually physically had to get a license from Oman. Every time we wanted to fly a mission, they had to approve it ahead of time, which was crazy. And how can you keep stuff secret if you got to request permission to fly your mission? But that's that. That's the story of those. Those are pretty cool patches. Um, what else do I have here? I know it's getting long video and I haven't even gotten to the flight suit yet. So let's get going. Let's get going. Sorry to bore you guys with this. Clump cards. I used to play online games with a soldier in Guam about 10 years ago. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Here you go, Clump's cards. Let me give you um, moderator. There you go. Your moderator now. You can post your YouTube channel, the link to your channel, so people can go and subscribe to you. Uh, let's see what else. Cadillac. That's just Cadillac Pet Foods. Just what it says. I work for them. Um... A while ago, this beach goes with that the other beach, that round beach aircraft. Here's an aggressor squadron at Nellis Air Force Base. Um, it's not the football Falcons. That's a patch from uh, one of the uh, flying squadrons. That's what they came up with for their kind of thing. This is uh, out of Oklahoma, Oakley, Okies. Um, guard unit or reserve unit. I forget where I got that from. Another Okies from Oklahoma. This is uh, from when I was based at Bitburg. I told you like there was three squadrons. 428th, uh, or no, the, the 22nd, the 525, and the 53rd. I was in the 53rd, and we'll come up across that patch here somewhere, I hope. I hope. I have. I know I have it somewhere, 53rd. Oh, you know I have that? Um, that's in my case for my retirement stuff. So, yeah, Bitburg Air, Air Base in Germany. It's no longer there. It was, you know, during the Cold War and stuff. And, you know, they, we gave it back to the Germans, so they turned it into a, um industrial park. Boomer, instructor pilot for training, you know, young, young pilots coming into the Air Force. Um, Jags, that's... Uh, French Jaguars, I believe, or British. I think it's French. French or British. Here's a nice Spartan-looking thing, right? Sword and a helmet. This is um, the New Jersey um, Air National Guard guys. One of the pilots gave me their patch. I think I met him at the BX or something like that. Sir, or, or he was coming. No, he's coming through the base. And I was pulling guard duty at the base, and uh, I said, "Oh, I really like that patch, sir." And he's like, "Oh, sure." <laughs> Ripped it off, gave it to me, and you see he's clawing up. Again, so this is like a World War II or World War I design, and he's calling up a Stahlhelm with the spike on it, you know. So I'm thinking that's a World War I because in World War II, the Stahlhelm did not have the spike. 
right? It just had the, the bigger ear flaps on it. So that's what that's the design from a very old one. Here's from Williams again, a Willie patch. It says Willie 91, class 14. Let the rumpus begin. And there's some kind of Bigfoot. I don't know what that is, but um, the reason, the way I got a hold of these was while I was at Nellis, I was working in transient maintenance. And whenever the guys would come in, they would bring little, you know, knickknacks for us. And I always hit them for a patch. That's how I got all these training patches. Got this from a friend of mine, um, Tom Mitchell, when he was uh, uh, stationed in England and um, sent me this. Pretty cool. Again, it's got some history behind it, I'm sure. Here's one. Let's see. Barons of the Sky, welcome to the show. Class 9014 out of Williams. Pretty scary looking dude. Here's one, another uh, training flight class made up one. It's a Dick Tracy one, basically, except it says Stick Tracy instead of Dick Tracy. High speed, low profile, Willie 91, 10 or 20, 10, I think it is. And they had some foreign um, pilots in that class, so they showed their flags here that they were training or flying with. Here's a nice one, you guys, if you're a Batman fan or whatever, Joker fan. It says, wait till they get a load of us. And, of course, the Joker with his helmet on. He's flipping a card, Joker. And it's got uh, whatever country that is, green, white, red, the United States. And this is out of Vance. Um, I'm not sure where Vance is located. But it's class of 9011, but cool Joker. You can see the reflection in his um face shield here is goggles or not goggles but sun visor of uh, the two aircraft that they fly there pretty cool this is a take on um charlie tuna the tuna fish commercial and there's a fish class of 9002 trolling with no hooks it says and whatever country they were training there's their flag there Here's one here. It says 9004 out of Williams because it says Rocks Willie. So the class 9004 Rocks Willie. That's it. That was their slogan. And they're devils. They must have been a mischievous lot. This is a combination patch from um, Nellis when I was assigned to um, the 474th aircraft, um, 474th tactical fighter wing, 430th. I was in the 429th, the, Fal the Black Falcons, and the um, 428th, 429th, 430th, yes. Another Spartan patch, pretty cool. Subdued version. Um, guy chasing a dragon on us, a knight chasing a dragon, I guess. ATC West, and just as Colt. Again, that's a training squadron patch. Boys on. Another training squadron patch. Hackers. Training squadron patch, I guess. So it's down to little hackers. The Big D. That's, again, the AAF-117 guys. That's with their cover story that they flew A-7s. But it's a cool patch. Tipper. Uh, play on the Playboy Bunny logo. Tippers. Training squadron. A-10s, the Black Hogs, not sure where they're out of, but that's one of their patches. And let's see, what else do I have here? A bunch of little ones. Um, this one uh, was from my deployment, Goes would go on this uniform over here. I'm not going to go through the, all these little ones here. We're just going to skip to the, like, the really cool looking ones. Kangaroo. You don't see many with kangaroos on, I'll give you that. Seen roosters. Here's a uh, warthog, uh, A-10 division of the Fighter Weapons School. A-10 graduate patch. That's from, you know, Fighter Weapons School. F-15 division at the Fighter Weapons School in Nellis. There's just an A-10 uh, AMU, Thunder AMU. Could be any A-10 unit. Don't worry about this. That here's a nice tagger one. Nice eagle. Obviously, the non-subdued ones are the, like the 
better looking one, but fighter weapon school. Here's a tiger coming down out of the sky, I guess. Bomber wing. That's a subdued 474th wing patch. I was a member of that one. We just talked about it. Uh, F-117. Nighthawks. USAFE test pilot school. Not sure where that is. 57th fighter weapons wing. Uh, this is what I wore when I was right. One of the patches I wore when I was at Transient Maintenance at Nellis. Another A-10, basic A-10 patch. I think these guys were F-4s. I'm not sure there. I can't. Don't hold me to that. Bomb, bomber wing. So those were bomber guys. Another A-10. Another A-10 from Fighter Weapons School. Like an older one. Some tactical fighter group. Looks like they're out of Pennsylvania. It's got the keystone symbol there. In common cause. And then you have different commands. This is uh, Military Airlift Command. Which most of them don't exist anymore. Because these are older patches. Air Mobility Command. So say the Military Airlift Command. became the It became AMC. Same patch. Just different name. Uh, the four seven, the seven fourteenth is um, one that I was in. That was a Mac squadron. USAFE Acad um, United States Air Force Academy. I didn't go to the academy. Some military airlift wing, which means the globe means they can go anywhere in the world. There's a fiery fist coming down into more fire. Don't know what that means. 20. I don't know. F-117 stealth guys. They had different patches they wore. There's three different versions. There's a fourth version. Then they changed it. No, this is the 514th. I was a member of the 514th at one point. That's one that I wore on my uniform. There's the non-subdued version. Wild Weasels, without the weasel, just the X. Combine that with this one here. Well, they, used to, they have one that has X's on it. I mean, right there. So the X, ch -ch -ch -ch, Wild Weasels. I don't think they have any more Wild Weasel squadrons in the Air Force. This is the non-subdued version of that Dragon one there. Pretty cool. Pacific Air Force, subdued. Pacific Air Force. Regular, I know it's hard to see maybe, but uh, Alaskan Air Command, non subdued version. Strategic, this is SAC, which there's no SAC anymore. Now we have Space Command, though. I got to get a Space Command patch, don't I? ATC, Air Training Command, that's where you go for basic training or any kind of educational type stuff, is an ATC command. And we're not going to go through the rest of all of these. They're just subdued. Many of them are repeats. So, now we'll quick go over to flight suit. And then I'll pack all this up. And put it all away. I know it's a long video, but... <clears throat> so, your flight suit... And this is the one, this is basic, just a basic setup. So you have your name patches, go here. You can either put this or depending on, like I said, if I was, if I was deployed, then I wore this if I was in the desert. So you just wear brown. The flight suit would actually be brown too. I just don't know where my brown flight suit is. It's packed away in a box somewhere. So it would be a brown flight suit with that. You would never wear brown with this green, just so you know. You would wear a subdued or something like this. If you're an air crew member, it's okay not to be subdued. So there's my maintenance badge. And um, I had this designed when I was in Japan. I had them do this up for me in Japan. Um, and I, they had it done and mailed it back to me in no time. Um, KC-10 banking 
and the maintenance patch lets everyone know that I'm I'm an enlisted guy. I'm not an like an aircrew member. Aircrew member would have a different insignia here, wings, whatever. In my rank and my name. Um, on your shoulder, you would wear like a U.S. flag. And keeping in mind that the the way the flags are, there are different or two different flags you can get for either shoulder. Depending on what shoulder you wear it on, the Army wears it on the other shoulder, I believe. But you have a little spot here, and you will put your flag. It would go here, right? So there. The stars and stripes always face facing forward. Your direction of that you're walking, your normal. If you're walking backwards, obviously you're not. You're still facing forward, but you're walking backwards. So the stars and stripes are always facing the way you're facing. And that's to signify, you know, Stars and Stripes going into into harm's way or whatever. All right, that's what that means. You're never running away from from harm's uh, harm's way or whatever. And then on this shoulder here, you would have your whatever squadron patches, whatever. On this shoulder, I literally wore um, one of these. While I was deployed, would have been one of these. Again, it would have been on my brown. One of these. Or, I guess I don't have any other one. Oh, my, um, my Viper one. I really like my Viper one. But I don't know where I put it. It's in this stack here somewhere. Where's that? It's in this big stack, I think. Anyhow. You put one of your big ones on there. Right here it is. So I would wear this while TDY. And matter of fact, I had such a response to this. I mean, you can see it was way too big for this. It's, it was actually fraying. The, the Velcro was fraying my uniform up here. But that's where you would put that. And I had a smaller version of it, but I gave them, I get, was giving them away to people. People are always asking me for them. Um, and I'm like, Eesh, guys, I only got so many made up. And um, so um, I like silly. I gave away one of my smaller ones, my last small one. These are all big ones. And um, but the smaller one fit on there much nicer. And I gave them away because I, 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 I looked at it this way. Like, when I was collecting my patches, um, people I asked people for their patches. They gladly gave it up. So I was giving up my patches too when people were asked for them. I just didn't have a whole bag full of them that I carried with me. Once I got rid of that one there, I either had nothing or I had to quickly throw on something else, you know, off of another flight suit. I usually didn't carry more than two patches with me. So, but that's it. That's the basic setup of your flight suit and all my patches. And that's what I collect. I don't fly anymore. I'm not in the military anymore. So this stuff just kind of just gets put away and, Sets sets around, and uh, you know, I get to look at it from time to time because I don't have it totally hidden out of view, out of sight. Um, when I had my helicopter ride at work, I wore my flight suit, but I didn't have like any of my patches on there because you know it's just not supposed to be done. And let's see what else. Um, I put it away. No. Oh, well. Someday you'll get to see my little thing I, my wife gave me for retirement from the Air Force. I'll show that. It'll be hanging in my uh, my uh, card den. But that's it, guys. That's my video on uh, responding to um, Collectaholics 2000 subscriber giveaway. What do you collect other than baseball cards? And with all that being said and done, um, it's a boom sign signing out saying peace, guys. We'll see you. And the next one, Chief Wampum. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I know it was long and winded, and thanks for the thumbs up. I am going to come back on here shortly and um, get my notifications now. Lots of notifications. I'm subscribed to so many people, they just keep ding, 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 keep popping up. I need to get a drink and stuff. I'm going to probably come back on live and I'm going to sort that one box of cards with you guys. So 
thanks again, guys, for tuning in. It's going to take a while for this to get posted. So, yeah, let's get it out there and let it get posted. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good afternoon, guys. I will be coming back live in a couple minutes. Do that box sort for you. Hey, hobbyist. Um, yeah, I'm going to be coming back live in like five or ten minutes. I got to clean up this mess. And then um, uh, I'm going to sort a box of cards for you guys. All right? So don't go far. And don't go changing.